welcome to this short video here that I'm actually going to demo for you as uh, some of these short videos are demo only and I've got a bit of time to get to my train which I've got to do today it is Friday the 11th of April I believe <laughs> no it's 12th <laughs> get that right Friday the 12th of April 2024 I'll just check the sort of date and time well it is actually 17 minutes past 6 p.m I'm about to get the 59 minutes past train from Beres Nevins train station as I like to do that sometimes when I come from Haverhill on a bus which took a little bit longer on the number 14 bus because you know it was going through two different villages of course one being of course well is it Horringer something like that <laughs> or Chebra something like that and Wickenbrook was the first one and yeah that's three in total actually I did make a mistake by that but of course Keddington was one of them that uh, of course you come to on the way to Samuel Ward which it was due to pick up some people but of course there were no people there of the pupils of Samuel Ward so that was a bit of a wasted journey really because Stevenage on the phone told me that they weren't doing a quarter past two bus so strangely enough it was of course the school timetable which was oddly enough a, a sort of normal timetable but yeah, I had to wait for the 25 minutes past three. Yeah, the 25 minutes past three from Haverhill bus station. But anyway, my name's Nick C here, and uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe as usual to Touring With Us. And let's go and show you a kind of like a shorter way than usual, because you can go different ways to the train station. I decided to walk by foot for a change, for a bit of exercise for a change i don't normally do this something really really new here and something that uh, i decided to do from another videographer doing food reviews but only i'm not doing food reviews this is the sound coming from the direct source of the samsung a12 i haven't got my microphones attached to this so you're going to hear the sound directly from the samsung a12 today okay um and i want to say a shout out to a guy called Eamon who showed me the photo sizes for a key ring that we're hoping to put up on our shop for touring with us hopefully one of you will be interested in the key ring we've got pens to come we've got all sorts of things if they're not up on the shop they will be soon okay just in case you're watching this video in the future now let's talk about where I am right now before we go any further I'm just halfway down the road where, of course, the old shop of Andy's Records was in this direction. So I'm about to head down towards that way, and that will be one of the ways to take me through to the train station. Hopefully I'll catch the train on time. Before I get there... As I said, I mentioned to Eamon, who went through all the photo sizes at Boots in Beres and Evans, kindly went through the process of it, of how to do it. So if it, there's any businesses that want to try and print photographs or mugs for their merchandise, that kind of thing. Uh, he's saying that he's quite busy there. So, of course, that is good news because people are using that sort of method to sort of develop photographs rather than the old fashioned way which apparently he was involved with before it started just going digital and then of course processing through that way so much quicker doing it the digital way than the old way you know it's sort of saving money as well so yeah i just want to save you time now by continuing my walk i've just literally walked from this point here where this church is situated I think there's something going on in the church at the moment. I can't show you around the church at the moment. I know there's paths all the way around this church right now. And this is the actual church called the 
Church of England, St John the Evangelist, and they have the parish mass on Sundays at 11 a.m. If you need to contact the vicar at any time, these are the details here, just in case you need them. Churches are open every day, which is unusual for some churches, and all are welcome. Great news to know that the church can be open, a bit like shops and pubs. But all it takes is someone to run it and lock it up each time. And the entrance is this way here. I think there are people inside it. I don't know if you can see the pipes of the organ at the back of the church from here. If I zoom in, you might be able to see some of the pipes. They are situated on the left-hand side there. If I go a little bit further, you might be able to just about see, actually. Still got the keep social distancing stickers up here. Thought they would have taken those away here. Those are the pipes in the background there. You can just about see them there. Off the organ. I think there's something going on. In the background there, you can see people there. Beautiful building, isn't it? Wow, look at that. So, of course, this church is open. All day. And, uh, there's paths literally all the way around here, which is quite unusual, actually. If I head towards this way, there is an overnight stay place just literally down the road. And, uh, of course, it's some sort of inn that we stayed the night in once, a few years back. Look at this main building here. It's amazing, isn't it? Look how tall it is. Well, most notably, look out for the actual postcards that we do sell or hope to sell on our eBay account here. You don't have to buy them, but we appreciate your support by buying them. You know, you help us out in a great deal by purchasing your very own sort of interpretation of our sort of postcard. Well, when it's your own, You've actually bought it and it is your property. But it's our logo and all you've got to do is purchase one if you have an eBay account. If you want to meet up in person, we can happily, um, you know, sell you one on the spot, but we won't show that on screen. So we walk down this way here. Looks like an old pub of some kind here don't quite know what this is but all I know it's the name of Troy another road will take you to another area of Bears and Evans in that direction so I can go two choices here go to the left or go to the right down in this direction unfortunately I don't have starlight or what we know as Giuliani Buzz Buzz from the nice and relaxing channel with me but uh, it's a pleasant evening here in Bedford Evans and I haven't yes I repeat I haven't got my hat on with me but it's in my bag and I haven't got my suitcase with me I normally take that with me but I thought I'd just leave the bag here because I'm not really staying the night so yeah I've got a couple of things in my bag a couple of presents for Starlight as she's done, done a wonderful job in promoting our channel and all that kind of thing. Well, this is one way I can actually end up going. I think this road will take you on onto the roundabout section. I think it will. 
in this direction. I don't know if the camera will actually pick it up there in that direction. So this here is St John's Street, okay? And uh, of course, if I turn the camera around this way, this is the route I'm talking about here. If I was to go further down here, I don't know where it's gonna end up, actually. I'm only guessing it will go towards the roundabout area. But what I would say in this sort of instance is, as I'm doing a demo here, it is a new direction for me. So I'm gonna go through this direction here, the safest possible one to get to the train station. I think this route will be further on and heading towards the sugar beet factory. But it might be a dead end as well. If anyone knows about that sort of area to help me out for a future video, let me know in the comments. So I thought I'd pop into this Nissa local, which is a new-ish sort of convenience store. I'm trying to think of what to say there. But yeah, it's a convenience store, which is new-ish, okay? And it, it has been here for quite some time even though I say it's newish so it's kind of like weird here um, you know when I grew up here it wasn't here so it's newish in terms for me but for anyone else out there you'd think it's been here for quite some time so I'm gonna pop in here and get a couple of snacks then I'll have to get my train I think well it's about 6 42 p.m. here I've pretty much got to get the train I'm halfway up the hill of I believe it's Station Road. Yes. Behind me is Chick King. So that's Chick King Takeaway to give them a shout out. I don't know them personally, but yeah, not at this point I don't. But yeah, just a quick promotion for them. Got the Bowes and Evans 86 bus coming through this direction here. It comes from Thetford. So yeah, I've got to go and get the train here. I've got just about enough cash, I think. And I've got a discounted rate. So I'm gonna to have to use the cash machines because I haven't got no ticket person in there at the moment. You can use cash or card and uh, go through the barriers these days as it would be. And there is a coffee shop, which we named Groover number two, Mark, his name, that works there from Colchester. Give him a shout out. But, of course, unfortunately, I won't be able to have a coffee in time because he would have gone home by now because it closes at around about six. So, yeah, anyway. Hello, mate. All right. Streaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing a video, actually. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Touring with us. Yeah. Check out our YouTube channel. Touring with us. That's the YouTube channel. Yeah, take care. Have a nice evening, lads. So, yeah. <laughs> they thought I was doing a live broadcast. But anyway, of course, yeah. Shout out to them as well. <laughs> and all the gang in there. I've got to get a train now. But, of course, as I say, um, yeah. Mark, the one we normally see, unfortunately, uh, he would have gone home by now. But... I'm going to go up there because it is quite a walk up here if you're struggling to walk up here. I wouldn't want to do it when I'm 80 years old, I've got to say that because, you know, by that age you would be not able to walk. But I'm going to make the most of what I can do now. I'm slightly out of breath, but I am okay-ish. When I did this with Starlight before, I was totally out of breath because she was rushing off quickly than I was but anyway let's go up here and uh, get my train in case I miss it so yeah I've got to go through the barriers as it would be these days so come with me even those youngsters have raced ahead further than me now down over there is Tesco's just to the right a bit is the Premier Inn there's the train bridge now you will see the train when it does arrive but of course we're not able to capture it unfortunately but it would come from Ipswich in that direction and go to Cambridge in that direction so this is the main Bears and Evans train station the ticket office was on that side temporarily and it was inside as well there used to be hairdressers there 
it's now being replaced by a coffee shop over in that direction so I've got to head towards that direction and it's now 48 minutes past six I should be able to make the training in time I didn't know there was a bus that you can actually get after six o'clock from the Beresolism's bus station the this bus will of course come to the train station and stop here temporarily before it goes on to eventually this just to prove that it is the uh, train station of Barris Lemons is the train sign see where that bus is going it's going to go to the left in just a moment I was right <laughs> it was heading to the left when it gets to that side no I was right it's going up that way mm. normally this would go the other way but anyway maybe it's finished its shift so that's where I'm heading it's very very quick I'm going one way to Cambridge here normally it would cost about £13.40 confirm your selection okay um, that's my normal price the discount price is this one okay all these that you can select here I'm going to select one of them out of here and that's my reduced price here £8.18 I saved myself a few pennies or maybe a couple of quid there so I'm heading towards Cambridge now press now to pay or press here to pay now and it is a coin one here or card and your ticket should end up there so this is my ticket Well, it actually kind of like smells in this lift of cement or something. <laughs> but yeah, it's quicker than using the stairs, I've got to say that. Platform well, it really feels like I'm in Lowestoft or Great Yarmouth right now by hearing the seagulls. They're all over the place here. In the far distance, you might be able to see some of them. Or maybe they've disappeared now. We can't go further than this point here. It's too unsafe. That one is Ipswich. This one is Cambridge. Okay. And that's the clock on the timer. It's the 59 minutes past six train. That says 18.55. And you've even got the seconds rolling. Look at that. That's fantastic. And it's all on time. Well, it's supposed to be. So it's got two tracks, one on each side. That's the Ipswich line. And this is the Cambridge line here. You can see a little bit of the track here. I don't need to go any closer. Nice sunset at Beres and Evans train station. I've got to film this as this comes in to Beres and Evans from Ipswich. Such a busy train. Got to wait for all the people to come off first. Finally on the train, next to the door, which is so much easier than going through the actual train itself. It's a busy train, so I'll see you in a bit. The next stop is Newmarket. This is uh, Newmarket, you can see. Next station is Dunningham. Well, that is just about it for this uh, pilot, in other words, demo of, you know, 
a little bit of a trip from Sir John Street to Station Road to Bereson Evans, as in BSE, not the mad cow disease, train station, which will take you on the train from Bereson Evans to Cambridge. Of course, it's the Ipswich train that, of course, stops at Bereson Evans. But this, as I say, is a demo without our usual microphones. But until next time, of course, keep it at touring with us and peace out for now. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to touring with us and hit that thumbs up. Really helps boost our subscribers to make us do more videos for the future.